Hey guys, you know those Allstate maintenance alerts you signed up for? I think you forgot the furnace filter alert. Get Allstate home insurance, great protection, and helpful tools like maintenance alerts. Talk to an Allstate agent and let the good life in. He wore a suit. He spoke in a clear, calm voice and admitted he had tricked his then-girlfriend into taking a drug that killed their unborn child. 28-year-old John Andrew Weldon now admits he forged a prescription paper and gave his girlfriend the drug Cytotec, putting it into a bottle labeled amoxicillin. Weldon will be sentenced in December. He left the courthouse today flanked by private security guards paid for by his family. Weldon had nothing to say. The security team acted more like bodyguards than jailers. They brushed the media out of the way. The security team is part of Weldon's agreement with the federal government to stay out of prison until he's sentenced. The attorney for Weldon's girlfriend says this plea deal is better than a trial. Under the circumstances, we are uh, satisfied that he did come up uh, to the plate and he did uh, admit to his guilt. And again, he's now a convicted uh, double felon and who will remain that way for the rest of his life. While they accept the plea deal, Gil Sanchez says it's still difficult for his client to accept what happened. Obviously, what he did, you can't quantify it with sentencing guidelines and, and, and United States Code statutes. Nothing, again, is ever going to bring back um, Remy's child. The attorney for Weldon says with the life sentence hanging over his head and since authorities had two recorded confessions from his client, the plea deal was the best they could get. Nobody wants to go to prison for 13 years, eight months, but this is where we are.